I'm Keychain. This is going to be a guide for the Fractured Plane event. Uh, and currently it's week two, but you may be watching this down the road if they cycle through this again and they reuse the skills. Uh, the skills we have this week are Lacerate, Furious Charge, Leap, Ground Stomp, and Hammer of the Ancients. So the format of this video, I'm going to show some gameplay on floor one um, as I kind of adjust to the play style uh, and then after floor one we'll cut and I will check back in at floor three it will kill the boss and then as the build evolves and we get some different pieces I'll show a room clear or two but most of the stuff I do is gonna be you know the boss and this is probably the worst room that we can get um, with all ranged monsters like as a melee, this is absolutely terrible. So I got a little bit of chaos coins for that, but that's, you know, taking damage in the early rooms is never good. Now the goal early on, if you can manage it, ideally what you want at the end of floor one is to have at least 150 coins so you can go straight to fortune level three. If that happens, the run is normally much easier uh, and it gives you a better chance for success, at least in my opinion. So here it's all about avoiding damage, um, not trying to hit everybody with that, because you want to land on the outskirts of the damage, and then you just want to use that charge to push through and get out of the way, and just do a little bit of damage to somebody. Later on, if we get a bigger range on that or something, like maybe it'll be used differently. But for now, the only thing that I want to do is a little bit of damage. Now, these slimes are super annoying because they don't count towards the room. They're summons, but they don't go away. I have to deal with them. Um, so it's, you know, forcing me to take extra damage for something that has no reward, which I wish that they would just disappear. Okay, so we're on track, at least right now, to have over 150 coins, which is good, because there's two rooms left, we get 30 coins from each, so that puts us at 165 coins. As long as I don't take too much damage, and I can keep these coins uh, to use for fortune levels, then this is going to be a good run. I just have to be careful of those guys and their charge and their long range hit because they do have pretty significant range. So I'm taking a little bit too much damage here, being a little too risky. Gosh, their range is just crazy. All right, so now we've already got the 157 co or the 150 coins we need. Now the next room will decide what we pick. Um, if I don't take any more damage, I'm probably fine for the next floor. But the next choice to make too is, do I pick a piece of one star gear on this floor? Or do I, you know, pick up the coins and heal? Like there's some choices to make here that are unique to this floor. I think doing combos like that seems to work pretty well. Is just use a whole bunch of skills to move all around the place. Leap grants you shield that absorbs 44 damage. That's going to be useful for the boss. Um, so I'm going to pick that up. And then from here, um, what do I have in my inventory? Did I not equip it? Ooh, that's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Um, if you get a piece of gear, make sure you equip the better piece before you move to the next floor. So going into floor two, I'm gonna upgrade my fortune level to three, which gives me a 20% chance of seeing one star or three star items. Uh, and then I'll go clear this floor and I will check back in for the boss and we'll show the boss fight. So uh, I'll see you in just a minute. All right, so now I'm on level three. I managed to make it through without dying. And let me show you what I've got. I picked up 
a ground stomp range increase increased by 20% and leap also grants a shield that absorbs 117 damage. The shield doesn't last very long, so be careful of that. Like it's pretty quick. Um, it's more like use leap and then charge out of there and any you know couple of hits you take from doing a leap will kind of be clear. I've got 248 coins, so Ooh, some choices to make. Now, normally I like to try and get these organically, but going into the boss phase, it's nice to get an upgrade, and 82 damage is going to help. And then additionally, once I kill the boss, it'll give me a hundred enough to, to get my fortune level going into the next level. So I'm going to buy this. After I kill the boss, I should have like 200 and something coins. Um, which will then allow me to increase my fortune level to rank 4 going into floor 4. And that will allow me to start really getting some 3 star items uh, in floor 4. Because I think it bumps it up to like a 40% chance, which makes it pretty nice. Okay, so let's go kill the boss, see what boss we get. Um, I probably will die here. Like, depending on the boss, um, it's, it's not easy. I just want to avoid the skulls, and I want to avoid her red poison skulls too. Once we get a chance, we'll leap back onto her. We'll do, oh, charge. I should have charged. Yep. I wanted to charge. I didn't. As much as I wanted to, I missed. Um, remember that your furious charge can be a damage escape. I, I don't know how I took damage there. So I must have charged through her projectile, which is a big mistake. That absorb there just helped me out. But I'm gonna have to use a heal after this fight, I think. And I wanna get out of there for that. So we managed to clear it, but that was not easy. Um, okay. So choosing blessings. Um, choosing blessings is tough, but basically I don't want this one because it's got a, a negative side to it. You don't want to take extra damage. Um, this is the defensive version, but man, cheat death. 20% chance of cheat death could be good, but it also means that I'm still going to be really low on life. I guess I'll give it a shot. It's like I can't use a potion if I cheat death. It's like it'll help me live, but then unless I'm just about to kill something or get a health globe, which doesn't happen very often, like this is not that likely to be very useful. So as much as it sounds good and I like to go defense, I think I'm actually going to go with this one to get some extra damage on, on enemies with 50% less life. So um, if you normally, normally what I like to do is defense. So if I get a chance, I usually pick defense over everything else, but I don't think cheat death is very good in this instance, unless I'm misreading what happens with cheat death. So, yeah, it, it's going to give me a chance to avoid death, and I'm reduced to one life instead. But without potions or a healing ability, like getting reduced to one life, you're only going to live for an extra one hit after that. So it's, it's not all that useful in this game mode, at least from my opinion. So here I have to use a heal, and then I'm going to increase my fortune level. So now I'm at fortune level four, going into level four. So I should start to see some three star items, hopefully. And we will check back in on floor six for the boss. All right, so we made it to floor six. Uh, haven't died yet. I'm gonna use a heal because we're going into the boss. Uh, and I won't have enough coins to do this shard of fortune until after the boss. Uh, I don't think any of these really help me greatly. They don't. 
So let me show you what we have. The last two floors were not super lucky. Like I didn't see any four stars um, on floor four. I didn't see a single three star. It was terrible. So not great so far, but I do end up having three star items. I'm still missing two slots, but I have the ground stomp range. I have empowered leaps. So now it can be charged to increase the range and damage, which is then further increased by the extra 50% damage done by charged skills. Uh, I do like these pants for leap absorbing damage, even though it's a small shield or it's a quick shield, it does help keeping my life up through the clears. Uh, and then leap causes the ground to shake where you land, dealing 138 damage to all enemies over three seconds. So that helps as well. So um, leaping onto the outskirts where all the monsters turn and follow you back through it, it does a little bit of damage to them. So every little bit of damage you can do to enemies without taking any yourself is going to be helpful. Let's see what boss we get. Let's see if we can get away with not dying. We got Ignatius, which I think I'm pretty good at. And what I should be doing here is not what I just did. I should be charging those up to max um, to increase the damage as far as I can. And I need to be careful of those. And I did find a bug. Now, you'll see it, but watch what happens when I charge... Um, all the way to full on ground stomp. Oh, I'm going to die here. I should have been paying more attention. Um, I was getting ready to charge ground stomp and I just screwed that up. So charging ground stomp, the range drops after it hits max. So that's not great for, you know, charging all the way to full because it's bugged and I got to concentrate here because I'm gonna die did I get behind that I did so I took damage there by not paying attention, and that's going to waste a lot of those coins I just got. Hopefully, I can get a defensive one here. <laughs> and still, no. This is terrible. Um, I'm going to go with the movement speed. Uh, I explained the cheat death already, why I don't necessarily care for it in this game mode, because it doesn't really do much besides prevent one fatal damage, put me at one life, where then I'll take fatal damage, basically immediately following, unless... It was one big hit, but it seems like a lot of small monsters in this game mode, so that doesn't happen that often. So, going into floor 7, um, I'm going to increase my Shard of Fortune level to 6. So we have a 27% chance to see 4-star items now. We need to start filling in our empty slots and trying to get some 4-star pieces, and I'm going to heal. I'm going to show you one room of clear, and then I'll cut out, and we'll check back in at floor 9. So basically what I've been doing now is still running around the outskirts. If there's any ranged monsters, I focus them first. So the goal is to focus the ranged monsters first. Um, and sorry, I'm not paying attention while I'm talking. So I charge in, and I, I um, furious charge out of the middle. I charge ground stomp, push it through hit with something, and then I run around and wait. Oops, almost made a mistake there again. So the goal here is if you can hit a bunch, do it, but then charge out of there while your shield is online, and then use the ground stomp to do damage. Use this to stun. You can hit once or twice and get out. So I took a single hit of damage there being greedy. Um, I probably should wait until I know I'm going to have a guaranteed stun on something before I do any auto attacks. Slimes are the worst on this because they die and leave poison and the poison hits super hard so it's super annoying to have slimes. And I like to just get immediately out of there after um, 
doing my leap in. I'm sure that my shield would absorb a little bit more, but in this game mode, taking any damage forces you to lose coins by having to heal. Or do something even riskier to try and heal up using auto attacks. It's just, it's kind of messy. Okay, so if I did this, I would lose the shield, and I like the shield. I'm, I'm getting to the point right now where... Oh man, that's good though. Ground Stomp produces an earthquake, continually damaging enemies in the area, but no longer stunning them. Um, that would change how I'm playing. Now the pros to this is I'd be able to leave Earthquake on the ground and have monsters run through it without taking damage. The downside is that I lose the ability to leap in and then clear out without taking any damage. So I'm actually going to skip that and I'm going to skip this because I don't want to do the charging, furious charge into enemies. Knocking them up would make it so they can't Knocking them into the air makes it so they can't do damage to me, but it reduces my charges by one. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I think I still like the way that I'm playing right now. I like the way that I got used to, so I'm going to keep the build. All right, made it to floor nine. Um, things are starting to get more challenging because I don't have an offhand yet. Uh, I'm looking to get a remembered so that I can combine it with Davin's legacy and have two Hammer the Ancient buddies running around. But this one I picked up, um, I was able to get a four star of the Car's Defiance for the shield. So I got two upgrades in that run. I have 583 coins I do need to heal because it's the boss floor and um, I was hoping that there'd be a remembered sitting right here for me but there's not and I don't think that I used last raid enough to want to use this I probably could make it work with this bleed doing that much damage but I'm not going to worry about it I'm going to increase my shard level even though it doesn't take effect until I start clearing on floor 10 but now I've got a 14% chance to see five star items. I only need to save up 500 more coins, then we'll get to rank 10. And then we'll be able to start searching for those five stars and getting a full five star build that we're actually, you know, looking for. So what boss did we get? She is totally doable. thing I need to be careful of here is there are ads that I can't just completely ignore. I have to kill the ads uh, while watching out for her damage because the ads don't do much but they do something. Oh I still took that damage I didn't mean to. Got that shield. Charge everything up to max because it's doing extra damage. We're getting this. mistake there um, small mistake but I was meaning to charge up the ground stomp so that I could use it to hit all of those much harder but here being able to auto attacker is helping a lot with um, the little damage and stuff so oops I just took up that was a big mistake there um, Taking any damage when you can avoid it is always a mistake in this game mode. Like you want to take zero damage 
when you can. Okay. I did take a little bit of damage there. I was able to heal some of it back up, but I was a little impatient, I think. And Okay, this is what I'm going for here, maximum life. Um, this would probably help me clear, but I haven't had enough defensive blessings. I've had to take more, I had to take an offensive blessing. A movement speed is kind of defensive, but then maximum life is most definitely defensive. That helps me survive, get more out of my potions and gear and that type of stuff. So, all right, so we made it to floor 12. Now this run has been extremely unlucky. <laughs> Uh, not a natural five star at all. I am fortune rank 10 uh, and it is a small chance. It's a 20% chance. I mean, that's not ridiculously small, but I got no natural five stars uh, and a natural five star to me is when you get it out of the chest because then out of a chest, you're getting a 320 coin item for free instead of choosing, you know, whatever 80 coins. So you gain a lot. But I am at the point where I can start rolling for gear, so I'm going to refresh a couple of times. Uh, there's one piece, so the car's defense, five star. Now I can only roll this two more times. Pants, uh, I've already got pants, so I'm not going to do that. Actually, I could do three, three times. Nothing. Okay, so then we'll save it for the next floor. But I did get one upgrade, so there's a little bit more hit points. Before we go into the floor 12 boss, I'm at 356 damage and 3,966 life. So let's see what boss we get. I do still have five lives, so I'm feeling pretty good about the run, but it is definitely challenging. Um, and I need to be careful because um, I take, I mean, I take a lot of damage now. And this boss, I know he hits hard in a straight line, and I need to not get close to that. But I can have my Ancients take a couple of hits from me. And when they do, I can, I can do a little bit of attacking. But this, I mean, this boss is hard. You just have to be extra patient because running away from him um, sometimes works, but other times, like his third hit has like an insane, like, crazy range. That and that third attack where he does it with two hands, it has such a long range. You have to be very careful of that. I also have to be careful there of not standing in his AOE that he's doing again, because that hits pretty hard, that ground damage. So the goal for this boss is sidestepping his damage. And I took damage there, I shouldn't have. And I keep having like terrible timing on my Ancient because he just goes in that AOE and doesn't get to do much damage. Actually here, he actually did decent. But here's the play style. It's starting to get more ranged. Um, you just stay away from the boss, do damage where you can. Killing the adds is important. Staying away from that little charged up attack he does. So if I can wait this out and drop my hammer on him in just a second, like I'll actually be able to get some damage done on him with my hammer the ancients for once. I took damage that I shouldn't have. I should not have tried to charge 
by Ground Stomp with when he was that close. I should have waited till I was far away like this. Gosh, I almost took fatal damage there. I'm sorry I'm not talking much during these. Um, I'm concentrating. I'm not a very good barbarian, so this is not easy for me. Oh gosh. Probably gonna die. Yep, stay away from that. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of room. Oh, I died there. I should have. Oh, what should I have done differently there? I think I should have charged it a little bit longer and landed more on the outside maybe. But I've taken damage that I didn't need to here because one, impatience, but two, just when you start doing good, you think that you've got more time for stuff than you actually do. Okay, almost there. Almost got this boss down. Okay, so we got this one beat. I did take a death there. You saw my mistakes. You watched them happen. Um, dodge chance by 20%. That's, that's more like it. That's something we need. So... Dodge chance is fantastic for this because those big hits, if one of those was a dodge, you know, I would have dodged whatever seven or 800 damage, which is huge. Um, so yeah, dodge is fantastic for this. What do I have in my inventory that is warning me about that? That's fine. Okay. Um, I don't think the game mode is going to change much more from what you just saw, but I will check back in at the floor 15 boss for the clear. Um, clearing the trash. I guess I could show one room of of room clear or one level, like whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here's an upgrade. Um, if I can actually click stuff the right way, it won't let me click. It won't let me click it. There it is. Okay, so I just got an upgrade. That'll help. More damage, a lot more damage. 130 extra damage is fantastic. So I'm looking for four upgrades in the next couple of levels to get me those all five star pieces, and then we'll clear the 15 floor boss. Um, I am gonna show one room of, of the trash monsters here. Oh, this is a good room. It's a double elite pack room, and there's ranged. So this is not gonna be an easy one. Um, the goal here, again, is to I want to try and land some stuns on the ranged and just shut down the ranged as much as I can. And the ranged is going to focus on my guys for a minute, but they won't stay there because my, my little ancient guys die super fast. I do want to hammer the ancients out so that I can try and land some stuns on these ranged, but I also want to do it when I can do damage. So, oh, that that hurts. This is a tough room, so I'm glad I showed this. Um, this is a lot of ranged monsters. There's a lot of ground damage and a lot going on. Oh, and I just got feared. Fear is the enemy. I think I'm almost going to kill something. Oh, the other thing that I don't know if I can show in this room is at the end of a room, you can drop your Hammer of the Ancients for the last couple of monsters and then go behind them and just like auto attack the monsters. 
so that you can heal. Um, and I've been doing that quite a bit. So that's been working out as well. Oh, a health globe, that's glorious. So it just took my skill for some reason. So just keep avoiding all this range stuff. Drop your hammer of the ancients. Stuns, and then do some oh, fear it again. And that just ate up all the healing that I got. So here, my Hammer of the Ancients guy took two hits. And I took damage that I didn't need to. And there was a dodge. So I healed 92 damage back up. That was a tough room. Um, we did it, but no love in the chest. So we're taking the coins. We'll use it to roll. And I'm glad I showed that room. That was a super hard room. Probably one of the hardest I've had to face so far patience just keep running away as much as you can wait for your cooldowns try and avoid damage and just chip away at the enemy all right everybody we're in the home stretch uh have not died again had some really tough levels that took a long time this has been a super long and unlucky run i didn't get a single natural five star from a chest they've all been from the broker and I was unable to find a five star remembered. I'm out of coins. I didn't go through the gambling piece while I was, you know, on here. It was like 2,000 coins. I burned through all of it. Um, these, I just upgraded these pieces. Uh, I went from three star to four star, then to five star, because I wanted to make sure I got at least a four star um, when it felt like I was going to get nothing. And then I finally got a five star helmet, but I was not able to replace the remembered with a five star version. So. Final stats going into the final boss, 750 damage, 5k life, and let's see what we get. And hopefully I can do this without dying, but I do have four, you know, revives, so I'm also not horribly worried about it. I just completely whiffed there, didn't I? So the cool thing about these is my little summoned buddies is that I can stand behind them for damage, but um, I do still need to dodge stuff. Um, so I'll probably cut through this, like, I don't need to show this whole fight, it's going to be slow. This whole game mode has been super slow, like not a lot of damage being done here. But having that Ancient Guardian sitting there just doing mass damage does help quite a bit. So I'm going to wait out the flames. And then I'll leap back in. Hopefully avoid those. Oh man. Those hit pretty hard. So he's about halfway through. He does start getting more challenging as the fight goes on. So I'm going to save my Ancient for after the flames, and then I'll drop him again so he can maximize his damage. Oh, and he's going to just come right in on top of me, isn't he? And more flames. It's like endless flames happening here. And this heals, so I think I'm just going to try and take some damage in here and just go ham with that ultimate. I think that's going to be it. Oh, I got caught on the wall there. Okay, so that was it for this video. This one was by far the hardest that I've had to do. Um... I've done Wizard twice. I did the Monk, the Crusader, and this is my second Warrior Clear. And this one was the hardest. So this is not an easy set of skills, at least not for me the way I play. 
um, it it was hard. This was definitely hard. So if you're having trouble with this one, you're watching this guide, uh, just know it was not easy for me. Um, and I know that a lot of people are going to struggle with this one. So um, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. This was requested. So, you know, hopefully I'll get a couple of views here. And remember to hit the like and subscribe. Um, if you need a different class for this week, for week two, let me know in the comments uh, and I'll try and get it done. So I do have a monk and a crusader and a necromancer. So I have some of the other classes covered um, as far as making a guide for those. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.